And I'm Greg Wasilkoff. I'm a retired professor of anthropology at the University of South Alabama. And I did some archaeology out here at uh, Fort Mims site about 10 years ago. This is the uh, site of Fort Mims. Uh, it was a major battle, uh, the beginning battle of the Creek War of 1813. And on August 30th, uh, some 725 or so Red Stick Creeks attacked uh, this settler fort, which is filled with about 450 or so uh, local people, as well as uh, uh, some militia from the Natchez area. And in the course of about a half a day battle, the fort was destroyed by fire, and uh, most of the uh, occupants either killed or captured, and some 20 or so escaped, and considerable loss of life to the Red Stick Force as well. But uh, this uh, was a major defeat for the U.S. military. It's one of the, one of the very few situations where uh, a, a manned, defended fort was overrun by American Indian forces. And so a major victory for the, uh, for the Indians, and it led then to about nine months of very bitter fighting uh, known as the Creek War, which ended up uh, at the Battle of Horseshoe Bend in a massive defeat of the Red Sticks and uh, the loss of about 21 million acres of land to the U.S. Uh, during the treaty uh, that, that occurred later that year. Basically, the, the main connection between the battle and uh, the eventual establishment of the Porch Creek Indians is the fact that there were uh, reserves given to Creek Indians who had, who had sided with the Americans during the war, during the Creek War. And uh, two of those reserves were eventually the basis for the uh, reserve reservation held by the Porch Band of Creek Indians today. So without that kind of core land base, uh, that was really the way that uh, the Porch Band were able to uh, help maintain their Indian traditions on up into the 20th and 21st centuries. Uh, but it also gave them kind of a legal presence in the mind of the federal officials who eventually gave them federal recognition. So uh, there's, there's some really strong connections here between the Porch Band and, and Fort Mims.